Hey there, everybody. It's Ryan here from Android Call Sim, and I want to show you. I can't get the camera to zoom out enough here. This is Sony Z Ultra. This is a 6.4 inch screen. This is the biggest phablet, if you want to call it that, that you're going to find out there. Uh, it is still a phone, it still has LTE, still has voice uh, calling. So it is a phone. It is part tablet, maybe you want to call it phablet. Um, it's funny the reaction I show people this device, what they think of it, and they will argue with me that it is a phone, and it's it is. Trust me, it is. Uh, my wife calls it a comic prop. So what is this device? Okay, let's take a look at this thing. It's um, here's my Nexus Four. Let's put the screens on so you can see them. Just show you the device differences here. And doop. So we can see that device difference. We don't call that. All right, how much bigger this thing is than an XS4. Huge. It also is super thin. It, it tend to has a feel that if when you're holding it with both hands like this, that I, I feel like I'm flexing it uh, and I'm afraid I might break it. So uh, there's that fear. Um, aside from that, it's got its standard sort of Sony power right in the middle on the side there, which is a little awkward, but again, if you're used to it, you're used to it. I'm not used to it. Uh, the volume rocker, uh, headphone jack, it's got a spot here for its uh, USB cord, and the SIM tray is right here. SIM tray and micro SD. You'll notice that they all have that little cover on that, and that's because these are, this is meant to be, you know, water resistant. So you can drop this in water, and, and it shouldn't be a problem, shouldn't be an issue on that. So, yeah, how do I like it? Well, let's go through top to bottom. There's a lot I do like and a lot I don't like. Uh, first off, this is a 6.4 inch screen. It's a full 1080p, so you get a lot of real estate in this pay, in this thing here. Um, there's a lot of room to, to you know load up web pages, look at pictures uh, that you get on this thing. So a lot of space on it, which is really nice, which is what I, what I was really hoping for. Um, 2.4 gigahertz uh, quad core processor, two gigs of RAM. A little disappointed that it's only 16 gigs of storage, but you do have this the micro SD. It's an eight megapixel camera, two megapixel front. Comes with Jelly Bean 4.2, and it's a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, so what does that may really mean? Um, this this device handles beautifully. No matter how much stuff I have running in the background, it's it, it'll run no problem no matter what I'm what game I'm, I go back to it'll just pop right back into the game wherever it was that I left off not a problem you know sometimes in other games you tend to come back to a game and it has to reload sometimes maybe it's gonna do that there anyways uh, really nice uh, really beautiful display that much I got to give it to it what I'm, I'm kind of concerned about is on the back here, the back screen isn't as quite as maybe protected. Oh, you can see i got some nice gashes here, here, and here. I say gashes, anything more than a tiny, tiny, tiny scratch is a gash to me. And it's probably fine, but I mean, like, I tend to baby these devices. You know, I make sure it's not in the same pocket as keys. I'm not putting it down on sandpaper, but it's got one, two, three four five six seven eight little scratches on it that that's crazy for it to have and I, I wasn't excited about that um what else here okay um 1080p like I said so the the real estate is really cool what's really nice is that they've included is these little mini apps so if you bring up multitasking you can see these little mini apps you can bring up little little windows whoops i can move around I can do anything. I want little memos to myself. I can bring up a little web browser. There's our web page. And what's even kind of cool is that you can add more, and you can say, "Well, how about a widget that I normally use? Let's let's use my um, I don't know." That's one other thing I got used to is that you scroll up and down, not side to side on some of these things. Um, 
Well, let's just use a calendar. Where's that calendar app? There we go. Call it calendar two. Done. And there is a widget that stays on top of everything. So uh, you can have a bunch of windows, and it's not a problem. It doesn't really interfere in this screen because you have a lot of real estate. I like the interface that we have here. The um, the bar up here isn't too big. And again, we can set how many things are on there. Let me go into personalization, quick settings, and just turn off the ones I don't want to use. Let's do uh, turn off the GPS one thing. And it, what's really cool I like is that everything is animated. Even checking a box is animated. I don't know, that little eye candy for me always does it. Um, even typing, you know, you know, as, as an animation. So that's pretty cool. I kind of thought that was a really neat, very neat design. It's got a lot of Sony stuff in there. I, I bring this page up to show you all the different Sony apps that it has. That it, you know, here's the comparable Google ones, and then a bunch of other ones. The Sony apps, I'm not entirely fond of. I find them a little slow, a little laggy, especially the, the Walkman app. I found that one really hard to get to work properly. Um, I had to, you know, make sure I go into... So if, eventually, I got it working, but it took me forever to figure it out. Uh, you get two months to play around with it. But... Uh, so I tap that song. So there's a song that we're playing. Let's find go to the next song. Well, that's a little better. Oh, that's a little better now, I must say. It was really, 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 really laggy the other day, and it was absolutely slow. I don't know if you noticed that little animation on the play thing there is kind of cool, too. Uh, you got movies. You get a bunch of movies that you get for free, um, which is kind of cool. And then you can just want, you know, when you tap it, it'll, down, it'll start downloading the movie as, as it needs to. So if I wanted to watch the Spider-Man movie... It starts downloading. It'll tell you when it's ready to so you can actually start watching it if you want to watch it. So I can say it's already ready to watch. Tap to watch. And really nice display. Now, when I say nice display, I'm going to say resolution-wise it's really nice. i got to say I'm not a fan of... Get out of here of the color reproduction on this. Um, I've, I'm a little a little lackluster there. And where I really notice it, for example, is in this Reaper game, like that, again, you can't probably tell in here, but it's all really greenish instead of gray. Uh, I, I just find a lot of the stuff that's, you know, black is really good or white is really good, but anywhere in between, it tends to have a, a different shade. The uh, pull down screens, now they are supposed to be a grayish color, but I find them more yellowy gray than they are sort of white gray. And I can't find anywhere I can go into here and change around and adjust that uh, that setting. I had to turn off this optimized backlight. So it plays with the, the amount of light you have in the back. Uh, it gives you better um, power display mode, but it kills more battery. But again, it gives me more realistic colors. And it took me a while to figure out the right way. The other thing I didn't like too was the speakers on here. I, I found on the games, especially games, now movies and music are not too bad, but in games for some reason, I, I, you hear a really deep thundering bass and you hear a really tinny distant treble, uh, which I thought was kind of odd for it to do. Let's see if I can just show off here. So you can just barely hear that music in the background. And I know you can probably play on the settings, but no, I've adjusted the settings so that I should be able to hear the same thing the same. But some sounds are just no, aren't there? And I don't know if it's a defective speaker. Uh, the speaker is up here, which is nice that I don't have to, I'm not covering it. All right. Um, all right, well, this comes up. Might as well talk about the battery. Battery's not too bad. I mean, it's about the same as I find on, let's say, my Nexus 4, which is, I mean, it's not great. It's not terrible, but... I mean, for, I thought for a bigger battery that would have in here, it would last a lot longer, but it doesn't. It, this this screen really sucks the juice out of this thing. Um, so 
on average, you know, you're getting almost a day kind of usage out of it. Uh, when I look at, um, you know, what's weird for me, I find, is the fact that if I can leave it overnight, if I don't plug it in, if I just let it sit overnight plugged in, charging or unplugged, not charging, it'll lose about 10%, which I thought was kind of a lot over just overnight to lose 10%. Other than that, everything is just super smooth, super easy. The benchmarks, if you want to see them, are, are through the roof. Um, again, not a big fan of the Sony S. There are some cool things it adds in there, like like the, the little pop-ups there. I, I must say, the screen, um, I was really hoping for that idea that I could use anything to draw on it. And that's what they kind of recommend. You can do anything, but if I just take a regular pen, you know, nothing. Use my fingernail, nothing. Um, I have to get something that is slightly metallic in the end, and then it writes beautifully. Except then I gotta worry about, is that gonna scratch the screen. I'm not going to use that end. Hey, that's probably a little pointier. Plus, it's got ink, and I want to screw the screen up. Plus, I mean, I look at the the back. I've really scratched that up, and I don't. I know they're probably better on the front, but oh well. I mean, so that was wor worried about that. Um, but I mean, to that end, it is fluid, and how I can it can write on here. Uh, a lot of times you know, it's a little jank, you know, jumpy or whatever, but this works very well. I'm going to talk about the camera, the camera app. I got to say I'm not impressed with. Um, you'll notice that back here it doesn't have uh, the flash right on the back. So I was going to hope that if it doesn't have the flash to get the more light, it have a better lens, like the G lens that they talk about, but it doesn't. It has, and um, so you got to play around with the settings. So it's got a really good super auto mode. I mean, Sony, that's what they do. They make cameras. Uh, one of the things, uh, but I'm surprised that some of the pictures use their album map tend to be uh, at least on here. And if you look on the samples, I'll show up for you guys. They tend to be pretty noisy. Oh, that's that one there. Like it's not really clean. It's not bad. It's not horrible. This is an eight megapixel. The the video is 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 pretty horrible, um, but again, yeah, not not quite. It's really noisy, I find. And you know, again, maybe I'm just using because it it's indoors right now, but it's super cold. Doesn't mean to try. But I, I was I was kind of unimpressed with the le the camera on it. So overall, I don't want this to be too long. Um, really cool for being a device that has a lot of screen real estate for you to work with and work around, and you know, bring up a web page is is gorgeous right um you know if you go to the ingress intel map you know you got a lot of space to work with here and you can play around with it so the 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 browsers are great but it's it's really missing a few things for me the speaker quality alone was kind of makes me iffy um and the camera is a real bummer so i'll have a full review up on the site so you guys can take a look at it there and uh we'll see you next time thanks so much bye